much excited if you get a charge from me, I'm actually... <coughs> yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Sully go buy a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't get a yacht. These ones are only worth like three grand. Yeah. Sully go with dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> but these ones are the evolutions packs these are quite uh, rare right now these are like 15 pound to 20 pound on ebay a pack each selling on ebay 15 pound to 20 pound these are basically reprints of the originals from the 90s so there was an evolutions box in the 90s and they've basically reprinted these which has the original charizard in them uh, which goes for like three grand or something like that there's five different charizards in this pack and they'll go for so like if, three if grand you've got a charizard like there and a charizard from the 90s and line them up against each other. Could you they're, tell which ones which? Um, they're, they're they're at, yeah, there's, they're identical, but they have like little stamps in the bottom corner. So obviously, you yeah, see, yeah, yeah. like here, they have like there's like on the bottom corner down here. You see, yeah, yeah. right here, there's like different identical stamps here with stars and stuff. And then also the um, the first edition ones have like a first edition stamp right there, like underneath the picture. So um, you can it normally you can tell the difference. But they're like identical image image wise if you know what I mean. but um in hidden face there's one in here the currently the market is quite down right now because obviously everyone's fucking hype on pokemon cards and buying them like mad so the the price has gone down well, a little a bit guaranteed shiny gyarados yeah it's a yeah it's a, a promo card guaranteed so promo yeah, how yeah. much is that box? um 50 quid for the box <laughs> okay so what we're gonna do boys and girls we're here so in this box right here this box cost me like 70 80 quid or something like that um and in this box we have darkness ablaze and um rebel clash now rebel clash isn't really that great of a set there's not really great cards in the set uh, the only good card in the rebel clash is a full art trainer card and it's a rainbow card so it's a secret card so it's quite hard to get in the set um but it's um it's worth about £400 right now, and it's the only card that's actually worth anything in the entire set. Um, there's a few other cards that are worth like 50 quid here, 50 quid there, but nothing crazy, right? The reason why I had to get Rebel Clash is because the only way of getting Darkness Ablaze is in these uh, blister packs. Well, you can buy like a full booster box, but um, I didn't want to buy a full booster box because it's like 130 quid for 36 packs right and yeah sure 36 packs is cool but like it's 36 packs of the one set um so here you can see there's two packs in here this is a blister pack there's two packs down this blaze rebel clash um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open all these right now and just line them up nicely also what's crazy about blister packs is um the the chances of hitting rares and stuff is random so in a booster box, you get 36 packs and you have a chance of getting 12 rares. 12 rares. The, like, so it's like guaranteed there's 12 rares in a 36 box. But these blister packs are random. So you could have absolutely nothing or you could have everything. You know what I'm saying? You could get like multiple hits. Okay, so just to give you guys a good look at what we've got today. We've got Rebel Clash. We have got Darkness Ablaze. We have got Vivid Voltage. Now, Vivid Voltage, let me talk to you a little bit about Vivid Voltage. In Vivid Voltage, there's a chance of getting the Chonka Pikachu, the Fat Boy Pikachu. Very rare, though. It's a super rare card. You can get him normal, VMAX, or you can get him Rainbow. Now, the Rainbow one's obviously the rarer one. They're both secret cards, I think. I think the VMAX is a secret, but it, they're not very... Uh, they don't come up often anyway this is probably one of the newest sets that's out right now there's another new set coming out in february end of february which is called shining fates and um that one is already out in the japanese set i'll talk to you about the japanese sets in a minute but yeah th this one i don't really know too much about other than it has secret rares in here too or an amazing rares the amazing rares are really cool because the amazing rares you can get um there's three different amazing rares in here and basically the art style is really cool on the amazing rares the amazing rares is basically a graffiti spray pattern in the background and it like over leaks over the bracket of the card and then there's like a obviously like the um pokemon on the inside i, I don't i can't remember the names of the pokemon 
but there's three there's three of those they're called amazing rares that's what we're trying to chase in the pikachu uh, well vivid voltage uh, sets so there's those and just because i was talking about the japanese set just a minute ago uh, shiny v um shiny v is basically comes out in february at the end of february but there's a japanese set already out so the one that comes out in february is called shining fates or something like that so they've changed the name of it but it's already out in in japanese and it's called shining face now there's two in particular japanese sets that are really good which is basically the um shining face and tag team now these two are very top market um japanese cards they always bring out the japanese sets first before the english versions now english cards usually sell for a lot more because obviously everyone likes english cards they can read them and all that kind of stuff and they're in high demand english cards over japanese cards but um, to keep in mind, the most expensive cards ever sold in Pokemon history are all the Japanese cards. The, the most expensive ones. There's definitely a very, very expensive English cards like the Lugia, which sells for like 120k. There's a, a couple Charizards that sell for 100k. But I think there's like a Japanese, most of the Japanese cards, some of the ones that there's like a rare Pikachu and there's like a rare Lugia in Japanese that sells for like over 200k or something ridiculous. Anyway, now also another cool thing about the Japanese sets is um, they have a chance of getting a God Pack. Now, a God Pack can't be found in an English set. They don't exist in English sets. A God Pack only exists in Japanese sets. Now, a God Pack is basically where in one Pacific pack, all the cards are shinies or rares. Like, every single one is a hit. So, you get 10 cards in a pack, every card's a shiny. And that's why it's called a God Pack, because it's incredible. But, like, the chances of that are very rare. Apparently, you get a God Pack in one in every two to three hundred boxes now this is a box and there's 10 packs in here so there's only 10 packs in this box what we're chasing in here is obviously a god pack right but the tag teams are really cool too there's also a few full art trainers that are really really rare now also in this specific set there's full art trainers that don't exist in the english set there's three called red green and blue uh, full art trainers and they do not ex what I'm actually a bit gassed. Oh, sorry, Gooch. I only just read your uh, thing. Hey, Gooch, I see you in here, baby. I see you, baby. I see you, Gooch. So yeah, the only um, they only exist in the, in this set. So there's red, green, and blue full art trainers, and um, they don't exist in the English set. Only the Japanese sets. So they're super rare right now. Super, super rare. Right, Champions Path is a very tough set. Now, Champion's Path is quite popping right now. Everyone wants this set. Um, and they want this set because of the, the, the secret shiny Charizard. There's a secret shiny Char Charizard you can get inside this set, which is worth like 700 to a grand. Do you give codes? I haven't thought about it yet. I haven't thought about it yet. I haven't thought about it yet. So, so I'll tell you what, there's one code, right? I'll give you that one code right there. There you go, there's a code. Enjoy it, take it, use it, enjoy it. What do the codes do? So there's an online game you can play of Pokemon and they basically give you online packs you can open and they have Pokemon obviously inside the packs. It's literally the same. So for example, you basically get like a, this pack online though. It's di in digital form. It's basically a pack in digital form to play a game and you can obviously play against other people, you know, all that kind of stuff. Champion's Path is a tough set in my opinion because um, there's only 15 to 20 cards in this set altogether, including the secret rares. Uh, so basically, when you open these packs, you're going to get a lot of doubles and a lot of duplicates. Like, they're going to be just the same cards over and over again. And it's super hard. It's super hard to get the Charizard. It's basically, this is the only reason why people want this pack. It, people want this set because of the shiny Charizard. Now, me personally, I don't think the cards in this set are that good. I don't think they're that good. Like, I personally don't like the art styles in Champion's Path. They're not, like, the best. If you compare these two sets, this set has, like, 30 cards plus in the set so you're gonna get like a whole bunch of cards you've never seen before y it's gonna be hard to get doubles y you are gonna get doubles obviously but i mean it, you know compared to the champion's path there's a definitely a lot more full arts there's definitely a lot more secrets there's definitely a lot more shinies in this uh, set compared to champion's path 
Hidden Fates is a really good set. It's a beautiful set to look at. The cards in here are beautiful. Um, there's loads of shinies, loads of rares. There's loads of secret rares. They, these cards pop off. They are really good. There's also a Charizard in here that's actually more valuable than getting a Champion's Path Zard. Now everyone wants this Zard. Everyone thinks this is the most valuable Zard. But if you pull a Zard from Hidden Fates, it is insane. As I was saying earlier, the market right now is low. The Charizard's gone down to like 2k. 2k, 1, 1.5k. So right now the market's kind of low for the, for, the, for the card. But I have seen it sell for 7k before. So if it sold for 7k before, imagine what this card's going to be worth in like 10 years time, 20 years time. You know, so I think if you get the Charizard out of these tins, it's definitely worth it. Now, what we're after in the Rebel Clash. We are after the full art trainers. That's what we're after in Rebel Clash. We want the full arts. Let's go open these normally. The card trick on here is one, two, three, four. Guaranteed four that time. Guaranteed four. There it is. So it's four in, the, in this set. So it's four. So energy. Honor of energy. Wait, that one goes over there. Okay. Nice. Nose pass, okay. Wingle. Coffin, okay. This is a very beautiful set. Very beautiful set. It's a shame that people don't really want the, these cards. They look gorgeous. And we have a reverse Farfetch. And the main card is... Dun, 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 dun. So another V Max. Not a V Max, just a V. Just a V. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Reverse hollows. I really like reverse hollows. Reverse hollows are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I feel like reverse hollows are going to have a lot of uh, value in, in the future. Now, like I said, we are after the full art trainers. This is not a rare. I just ruined it for myself. It feels bad. One, two, three, four. So, let me tell you something about the um, cards. Um, so, let me just... So to see these right here, I'll give you this code. Whoever wants this code, you can have it. Because um, I'm just going to explain thingy. So let me show you this code. You can have this code. Um, so you see on the back here, see how this is green? And do you know how you've seen a white one before, right? So the green ones mean there's no rare in the pack. And if you get a white one, then there's a rare in the pack. And also, um, the difference, these are the cards that are thicker or thinner in the pack. So it de determines the weight of the pack. So people can't weigh packs anymore in the new sets. So basically, if there's a rare, obviously the hollow weighs more than a normal card. And to balance it out, they put a thin uh, white card in the back. And in the non-hollow packs, they put a thick green card so it kind of balances out the weight of the packs so people can't weigh the packs and find out the hollows now there is some leeway some people can kind of tell if it's like 21 grams or slightly above 21 grams then maybe there's a hollow in there like there's still some kind of like weight difference like very slightly though it's not as how it used to be back in the day back in the day it was very easy to um, to determine the weight of the packs if you know what i'm saying but now it's a bit harder nowadays because they put those uh, code cards in the back of the uh, packs. Just so you know. Ooh. Hello. Nice. Electrode. Look at Electrode there. I like that. I like the water effect in the background there. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. A lot of these new gen Pokemon. It's kind of like, who the fuck is that guy? Farfetch. The normal far fetch. Reverse Meowth. This is like one of the the new Meowth kinda. Reverse from Meowth. Nice. And the main card. Not good, not good. Not good, not good. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sleeve all these cards. Um just sleeve the two back ones, because they're the rare cards. Now you're probably thinking, why am I why am I sleeving this dead Pokemon? It's still classed as a rare down here, right? So it's got the star down here. So the two back cards are always rare cards. So even though you might be it's a shit card, it still can have some kind of like value. Like just nice to keep it safe, seeing as it's a rare card, you know. 
So that's what I'm going to do with all the rares. I'm going to stack up all the normal cards over here. We haven't had anything too crazy though. Nothing too crazy. We're getting warmed up though. This is warm up. This is warm up. Okay, we're on Rebel Clash. I'm going to try and fly, fly through some of these. Energy. We haven't had anything crazy out of this set, but like I said, this set isn't isn't that crazy though. It's not a crazy set. That's why no one really wants this set. But the cards in here are kind of beautiful though, like the base cards. I like the art style of the, some of the cards in this base set. Very cool. Very cool. Did we just get two of the same card in in the in the pack? Did I leak? I think I leaked. I think I leaked. It's a full art in the back. I can see it. We got the reverse. The mime, Mr. Mime. Nice, that's a beautiful and and the rare is. Oh, oh. It's a full art. It's a full art. It's a full art, baby. Pogs. Oh. It said Draga V. Draga V. It's not the VMAX though. The VMAX of this card would have been nicer. Definitely 100%. But you know, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Can't complain. Can't complain. We didn't get any crazy hits though out of that. We didn't get any crazy hits. Nothing crazy. We're going to just quickly go through these right now. This is what we've got. Okay. A Snorlax. Let me put him on the back. Leotard. Barber. <laughs> this is nice. Wall picks, very nice. It's probably one of the better ones. 100%. Digger. Stone. Reverse. The Electrode. Reverse. Very nice. We've got the V. This is a reverse holo. Doesn't look like one, but it is one. Same here. It's like this this uh, style Pokemon. Like this uh, energy Pokemon. We've got the reverse trainer Milo right here. And we've got the reverse holo Mr. Mime. And then we've got the Drago V. Reverse double blade. And we've got the, the, the Snorlax rare. What's an ad break? Yeah, I know. Yeah, lol. What's an ad break? You don't get ad breaks when you're Twitch primed. No ad breaks over here with Twitch Prime. So I need some hype in chat. Gooch, I see you. Hey, Gooch, use my emote. I think I, I updated my emote. I've got a different emote now. I updated it today. I added a new emote, bro, today. Darkness of Blaze, boys and girls. Darkness of Blaze. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Energy. Okay. Turbo patch. Aaron. We've got another one of these. Okay. Resealed. It's a resealed pack. Diglett. It's a resealed pack. Reverse. Coco. Reverse Coco. Okay. And the rare is. Oh, it's a. It's a. Ooh. 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 It's something. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh! It's a VMAX Salamance! Let's go, baby! Oh, yes! First pack of Darkness of Blaze, and we get a full art Salamance. VMAX, baby! Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. Let's go. Let's get it. This is beautiful. This is the first hit we've had though. So how many sets we've opened so far? So we opened Rebel, Rebel Clash. We've got nothing in Rebel Clash. Nothing. And we've got nothing in Shield. But this is the first one. Darkness of Blaze. First hit, baby. 